What is up everybody, Joel up here, and welcome back to another episode of Harvest Moon Friends of Mineral Town. So it's Saturday, which just means it's gonna be the first time in a long time that I will, actually it's gonna be the first time in my LP that I'll be able to purchase something off the, the home shopping network. And my pineapples are growing, which is good. I don't even know why I said that like that, but hey, for these bad boys, and hopefully soon that means we'll be getting some money lots and lots of money which makes me very happy because you know I like money if you haven't seen the last few parts you would know I like money <laughs> I get sad when money leaves me and this money will not leave me I will not probably hopefully not drop any of these and of course since I left this little patch unattended I lost a spot but that will be remedied right now. Now I feel better about myself. This one too. There we go. The other two are actually fine. Gotta clear this out real quick. Just gotta make sure nothing gets in the way. Especially right here. Because especially when these start to grill, I'm gonna need that room. But I gotta keep on the upkeep right now. Alright, speaking of which, let me go check on my horse. Speaking of upkeep depressing horse that's not name I should have named him depressing the horse <laughs> every day it's just I come by why is he why is he back don't don't come back why all right wait oh, don't brush the egg grab the egg and put it in your bat back all right, here we go. I have to be like careful when I do that, just cause of the fact that it's like, that's like the most nerve wracking thing when you have money on a line like that. It's just, I'm grabbing these eggs and I might accidentally drop them onto the ground and then that, there goes my money. Everything's unnerving when it comes to money. Now, I, let me actually clear this up a little more. Can't wait till I upgrade my hammer and just get rid of all these. Which, speaking of which, I can probably upgrade my hammer and my hoe whenever I decide to start doing mining. Because mining also helps when it comes to, you know, upgrading your tools, aka the hammer and hoe. Oh, yeah, I didn't grab a flower to go get the porphyry. My bad. <laughs> Going back to go grab me a flower to go show my girlfriend that I care about her. It's been almost 10 days since her birthday. And also, we gotta remember that because when we get married, they like to be like, oh, guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? And it's just like, uh, laundry day? No, it's my birthday, you a hole. I hate you now. <laughs> I forgot she's in blue. Nah. Don't tell anybody that. <laughs> just don't tell anybody. I should get close to another event where Pulpery, which would be pretty cool. Thinking of which, what is in my inventory right now? Nothing good. Need to go grab some more onion seeds. Because if I don't, I'm going to hate myself. And I said I was going to do it before, and the market's closed tomorrow, so I won't be able to do it till Monday. So I gotta do that, and I gotta go to the pub. If you can call it the pub. I'm going to get two instead of the three I said before. So we should be good. Now let me go to this pub. Actually, I should have got three. Let me get three. I need all the money I can get. Three. Get one more. And there we go. And since my rucksack has the onion seeds already, it just adds on. It just goes straight to my box. But we're going to go ahead to this pub right now, which is right here. Actually, pretty funny enough. And we can go right here and talk on this phone. Where's Doug? Yeah, it's the guy's name who runs this place, Doug. Here goes Ann. I should get you a flower. I gotta see if you like those flowers. Anyway, first let's take a call, which is actually 10 gold in itself. Why is it $2,000? You are lucky. You are lucky I, I wanna upgrade my stuff soon so I can actually marry one of these girls. A-holes. There goes Duke. 
I, I would have liked to come to eat, but Doug's not here. It's mainly probably because Kai is around. Since Kai is around, I guess Doug's just like, yeah, hey, I'm free for the summer. <laughs> Douche. It goes gray. Cybera must be inside. I'm gonna give me a flower to go give to Anne, just cuz. And this is how it starts. I'm like, hey, let me get a flower to Anne, just cuz. Just so I need to get rid of all these things anyway. Give one to Anne, give one to, I, I, give one to all the girls. All of the girls and just, I don't know, just Anne. Just cause I never, I never ever give her anything in any of these playthroughs. It's just like, I'll give something to Karen once in the blue moon. I'll give something to even Ellie. And it's just be, you know, the, the, the nurse girl. Oh, that's it. Just thanks. Just thanks. Karen loved it. You said just thanks. Oh, I wonder I don't ever give you nothing. So I'm grateful. <laughs> no, let me get some. Ellie's, Ellie's gonna like it anyway. Ellie loves flowers. That's her thing. She likes flowers. I guess I've seen a, a playthrough before of her getting married with the main character, so I'm kind of spoiled when it comes to her. It's like, I've already seen it. Been there, done that. Then again, I, I, I married Pauper in mind, so I could have kind of said the same thing and just with the Karen, but then again, everyone marries Karen, right? Then it's like, Anne, and that's weird. That's weird to me. It's just like Ian. It's Ian. It's, that sounds weird. <laughs> it sounds weird to me saying Ian. Wow. She loves it, see? <laughs> Look at her blushing and everything. Is that for me, for real? See, that's that's so nice. It's like her. And it's like her grandma. Actually, let's talk to her grandma then. This poor old, little old woman just sitting here. I never talked to her yet. That's kind of messed up on my part. It became bad since I got when I got sick years ago, so I can't move around very much. Indoors, because the sun doesn't hit the house. Yeah, that's true. Until you go near a window, then it kind of doesn't hit the house, but you still get baked inside the house. And since Thomas is not around, the thing is closed. But for some reason, in the the console version of this game. There's some guy around, and I mean, we're, just, we're just all like, who is that guy? <laughs> he looks like a butler, but it's like, we don't know who he is. And the policeman's his son. Yeah, I don't know either. Actually, I gotta go plant these real quick. There we go. Well, at least one of them. And pretty soon, two of them. There we go. Get the water. Alright, Zach. Calm down, buddy. Oh, almost messed up. And there we go, we're done. Now let's head to bed. You. Nothing yet. Okay, okay, I'm going to bed. <laughs> Nothing yet. There's something he'll say and it's just like funny. <laughs> All right, let me save because if you know what, and go to bed. It's kind of funny how when you go to sleep, it affects you in other games, but in this one, it's just like, yeah, go to sleep, whatever. All right, it's gonna be sunny. Always gonna make sure, because if it's not, I'm going to load. <laughs> still can't afford it. I still can't ill afford to have one of these chickens get sick. I just spent $2,000 on a clock. Oh my God. Why did that clock cost so much? <laughs> At least the, uh, whatchamacallit, the mirror was a thousand dollars. You would think the mirror would be more than the clock. I can see the time on, on the corner of my screen. I guess they want to go, like, don't break the fourth wall. You know, you can see the clock. <laughs> Thing of let me go say hi to my horse. He doesn't see the clock, but he knows. He knows when he's not loved. And this is not one of these times. Cause I love you, buddy. I don't get the press on me. Are you still at two hearts? Yep. And speaking of which, I haven't seen, speaking of depressed and not showing love, where's my dog? I'm gonna go kinda a little blind on this. I gotta clean these up. Oh, there he is. What's up, dog? Every time I see him, I go, what's up, dog? 
There you go. You know, I'm actually gonna start bringing you in the house so you grow up. Just cause I, could, I need to give you love and I don't know how. There needs to be a better way. And I don't think he's grown yet. Probably like towards the end of the... the wait. Gotta see. Gotta see. Are you still a puppy? Yes, you are. Just making sure. Because if I don't, then, you know. It'll just be all not ready. So I, I ordered everything. I think, yeah, I did. And now let's talk to the chickens. And by that, I mean throw them on the ground viciously and just be like, I don't know. Alright, so there's one. There's another. There's another. And that other one just got in the way, but I still got the other one. That was clutch. Alright. Let me get started on getting rid of some of these because this is getting annoying. So I'm going to grab my sickle. And put the other two away. At least he's not in the way now. Which is actually another good reason why I decided to bring him in. And inadvertently I brought him in and just remembered I, I should do this. Actually before that, let me go give Popery another flower. No, I'll, I'll wait till 11. This has got to take care of itself first. Dang it, if I did let it take care of itself, this whole thing would be green. With nothing but weed. Which I can also get the Popery. Weird, isn't it? Time to go get some of the paupery. No, I ain't gonna give her a weed. She's gone past that point now. <laughs> no, girl, I gotta rehab you. It's called Weed Man's Anonymous. I am not the weed man today. I'm the flower man now. No more weed. Rick gets weed. I wonder if he even likes weed. Does he? I, I doubt he likes weed. I think Pulper is like the only one in his game that just is the oddball that likes weed. Like everybody else is like, oh, this is repulsive weed. <laughs> She's just like, oh, weed. <laughs> Make sure I don't chop anything up. Gotta get around here. I'm probably gonna try to get the left corner because that that's just a, a whole entire rainforest right there. This whole thing is just a rainforest. Yeah, and the only reason I don't like using the sickle is because he just gets tired so easily. But at the same time, this is a lot of experience fodder, which is good. I mean, if any if there's any time to actually upgrade your sickle is right now when it's times like this. Because of course winter time is no no grass around, so what you gonna do? <laughs> so might as well do it while there's a lot of these around. I just still hate them. <laughs> and that's why I don't pay attention to them, and that's why it gets like this. And it gets very annoying to actually manage and maintain it. Am I even anywhere near the level? I'm actually at bronze right now, which is pretty good. My axe is at not bronze yet. My hammer's at not bronze yet. It, uh, that'll change. Actually, my hoe is at almost gold, which is good. And of course, I never use my my uh, fishing pole. <laughs> I almost forgot what that was. I, I don't use it at all. Where's my rod? I don't have it. I don't care. <laughs> That's the only one thing I forgot to show. Actually, it was that in one of the potpourri moments, which was like the purple potpourri moment. I ain't show that off. Could have just came out of nowhere. Alright, let me actually go to the hot springs real quick. And I will be back to go to bed. Because there's nothing much else I can do besides try to grind on these stuff more, some more. Alright, into the hot springs we go. Just trying to get my level, my um, fatigue and stamina back up a little so I won't oversleep when I go back to bed which happens if you're really really tired no regardless of what time you go to sleep you can oversleep just be for being like for, like out of fatigue or out of stamina then if you're out of fatigue then you're probably gonna be knocked out just like I was in part 13 and let's go to bed 
And chop some more, chop some more, chop some more. Yeah, get that grinding level up. I am surprised when you be in the, the bronze with this. I am actually shocked, which is good though. It's good. I can get it to mistrial, just leave it alone. At that point, I'll never use it again. It's gonna be sunny. And let me check it again. I am not bull crapping myself. Now it's at silver, which is good. Just that extra, like, extra unnecessary swings made me to go to go. Oh, my clock's here. Delivered safe and sound thanks to that guy. At least I take care of my merchandise and not me. You know, that's cool. I appreciate that, Zach. Now, please don't beat me up anymore. I'm tired of being beat up. Got the water this thing. Water these real quick. Whoop. Keep messing up. Alright, got three more flowers to go. I'll be able to put more onion seeds. Actually, speaking of which, pretty soon I gotta up get some more. I don't even know how I water those, but still. Pretty soon I gotta get more grass seed because this thing's gonna be like nothing. At least I'll have the grass, you know, ready. Which I should probably do that since it's Monday. I would buy something like nothing. That's good. Alright, gotta get three more bags of grass. So I'm gonna put away my sickle. I think the, the supermarket opens at 9 too, so I could go in there right now. Early bird gets the worm, I guess. Or in this case, the grass. And I can probably expand that once I get some more animals, which would be good. But as far as it goes, I don't have no animals to speak of, so I might as well just go for four. And I am at 2,000, so I couldn't even get a cow if I wanted to. Oh well. Alright, 9 o'clock, let's head inside to go get some grass seeds. Yeah, buddy, I'm here at 9 o'clock. What's up? I ain't gotta worry about y'all closing now. Chip all you can, you got that right. Give me some grass seeds, buddy. That's fifteen hundred dollars down the drain. I'm back at eleven dollars eleven hundred. These animals, these prospective animals that I get better appreciate this grass. I'm gonna f like murder them all. I don't care if the PETA comes after me, I'm just gonna get after all of them if they don't appreciate this grass. <laughs> Mega ungrateful. Gonna plant some grass and this is gonna be another one of my things I gotta take care of. Finally taking care of this. At least once, oh. I guess I gotta be a little more quiet for that one, cause I'm like, now, like, I'm talking and it just messes me up, I guess. I don't know. No, I ain't gonna blame that. Alright, let me take care of my animals and then head off to go get... I'm gonna get some of the porpory now. Just gotta remember my brush. Remember the brush, because this animal right here won't appreciate your brushings and stuff. Like, until it's too late. And he's like, no, not all of you. Don't take me away. No, what are you doing? No. Yeah, yeah, that happens and I'm screwed. <laughs> and then I won't have a horse. And then no horse races for me. No extra token for, for the road and stuff like that. And that would suck. I never went to talk to her on Sunday, did I? I don't think I did. That sucks. <laughs> I could have seen if the... The next stage of our love like showed up, but no. I'm sad now. No, not no. I'm going to take care of the chickens off screen, or right now because it's like I'm right here anyway. Oh, I got stuff. Did I never take out my stuff? I don't think I did. Whoops. Boys, better late than never, right? I'm kind of shocked I forgot. <laughs> A 
And I mean, when you have four chickens, if you have like the maximum rut sack, you could just basically have two days worth of eggs with you. And that's like a good two. That's a good 200 right there. It's not bad. Ah, come on. I'm pressing like the A button and win, win ship. Alright, so on the next episode of Harvest with Friends in Marrow Town, we're gonna be on the road to the cow festival, but we can't even celebrate it because we don't have no cows. And hopefully, my whatchamacallit will start growing. Oh, God! <coughs>